Hey Laura, Pete again. Um, in this response video, I want to talk a little bit about why we have this annoying behavior in QPath that when you're setting the intensity classification, you can't interact with the image. So as you saw, the, we have this dialog for training an object classifier. I can select a region, assign a classification, live update, um, and then the change will, will make to the cell classifications that all of this can happen interactively, despite the fact this dialog is open. But if I go to object classification, set intensity classifications, and I want to classify by the TAB mean, then I can't interact with the image, zoom, uh, press any other buttons, run any other commands, or at least can I? Eh, I can't actually launch measurement maps. That's a little bit surprised to me. Um, but yeah, I can't do normal interaction um, with other things within the user interface. Uh, small fact to bring up here that might be useful is that although you can't resize the window, you can create a log of the histogram. So normally we see like a regular histogram and we want to set our threshold above the background pink. We can change the y-axis to be uh, to use log values instead, which can let you see a little bit more what's going on. Uh, but it doesn't explain why can we not interact with the, the image. So from a programming perspective, um, what's going on is that this is a modal dialog and a modal dialog blocks other clicks um, until it's taken care of. And this is a non-modal block dialog and so that doesn't block the other clicks. The reason for having this as a modal dialog within QPath is that it creates a clear separation between the time before you start setting the intensity classification and the time afterwards. And that means that we can make our changes in here and we can press cancel and we don't have to apply them um, because we have that clear separation. So let's go back in here. So I canceled at that point and we went back to the original. If I go up here, press apply, our changes are retained. Um, if we didn't have it as a modal dialog, then the user could basically do anything that they want between open that dialog. They could continue training their object classifier, they could add cells, they could delete cells, they could basically make things horrendously confusing by doing any sort of interaction. And that would greatly complicate how we are able to support intensity um, cell classifications because this command would have to be keeping track of everything that's going on. It would need to be, um, let's say you have this open and then you start adding new cells. Should the cell intensity classification be applied to the new cells as well as the old cells? And what would happen if you press cancel? Should it then go back to the point before you detected your other cells and so on? So basically, um, this simplifies the implementation and makes it more predictable. Um, it reduces the chances of bugs because it is more predictable, the behavior within the software. But I agree, it is also a little bit annoying because it would be nice to be able to zoom in and to see what's happening and to make other changes. Um, but if we let the users do that, the users might do other things that make the software horribly complicated to maintain um, and greatly, uh, yeah, make this command more complex. So that's the reason, um, slightly technical one, but yeah, that's why we have this behavior. Okay, thanks.